Eyewitness News continues. Here's an appropriate story with Veterans Day coming up. Two young men join the Army from different locations. The year is 1942. They meet for the very first time and become very good friends. But then the call comes and they get sent to different directions overseas. Of course, we're talking about World War II. They lose track of one another, not knowing if each is alive and if each has survived the war until November 7, 2004, when they met again after 63 years. Weston Axum didn't know that he would reunite with Theo Nelson at this Sunday church service. It's, it's like not meeting an old friend. It's like meeting an old brother. They haven't seen each other since they served together in World War II. I can remember yet we didn't have the sophisticated equipment they have nowadays, but I could hear Sergeant Nelson yelling back to headquarters. He said, Sergeant Nelson of the 1st Platoon, all present and counted for. I like that. I was, I was at, uh, right before the Battle of the Bulge, they were separated. It wasn't until recently that they knew each other had made it out alive. They were busy. If there was a man that could take abuse and hardship, and come out smelling like a rose, it was that guy. We lose a thousand World War II veterans in this country every day. Theo and Leston are a part of a dwindling group bound by an experience that helped to shape history. All I can really say to that is I thank God for it. I, I don't, I don't, I can't imagine really what it was. It was a gradual uh, but very important part of my life. War brought them together the first time. The bond of brotherhood reunites them now. In my 85 years, I don't think I've ever had such a beautiful experience of meeting someone as the privilege of meeting my friend, Sergeant Theodore Nelson. We arranged for that story uh, eight years ago put that together and you saw the different graphics that's while I was working at Channel 8 of course I dug into my old archives and found it at that reunion they were both 85 years old Theo Nelson from Bloomington Idaho Leston Axum from Bloomington Indiana both had their appendix removed while they were in the service both had hernia gallbladder identical heart surgeries they also have great grandchildren that share the same names I am one of them Theo Nelson is my grandfather he passed away November 2007. This reunion of theirs took place exactly eight years ago today, November 7th, thanks to my mom. Their second reunion was this morning. Leston Axum, an American hero, passed away today, also November 7th. We'll be right back. <laughs>